Today I want to give you a first look at a brand new feature that we've added into Thrive Architect that can become a powerful component of how you design and update your website. Hello, I'm Shane Malach from Thrive Themes and the best way to explain what this feature does is to simply show you an example. I've created two pages here. This is one example. This would be a typical kind of video sales page. So what we have is a video and then here a purchase button. And then we have some more content. I just filled in some filler text here and somewhere further down on the page we have another purchase button. Okay, so we have two buttons on the same page and we also have another page. This is for example the thank you page where we have another button. And as you can see, each of these buttons basically has the same design. Now here's the key to this new feature. Let's say that I'm working on these pages and I decide I want to change something about this button. I want, maybe I wanted to, to make it stand out a bit more. Here's what I do next. I'll go back to my original sales page and I will open it in Thrive Architect. Then I select this button and as you see, there's a new style options panel here. And this is a button with a global style. And I'll show you how to get here, but first let me show you what it does. So what I can do is I can select this button and I can go here to edit the global style. And then I can make my changes. So let's say I want this button to stand out a bit more. Let's give it a drop shadow, right? a nice large drop shadow like this. And let's just, to make it extra clear, let's also go in and change the color, right? Just make it, to make it really obviously different, let's say we want this to be like a bright orange instead of purple. And I apply that and then I, let's do another thing just to make it really different. There we go, let's make it bold. The text is bold on the button now. Okay, now I'm satisfied this is like a clearer, larger, bolder button that I can work with and I'm gonna save these changes. Now very importantly, if I scroll down this page, you'll see that the other button has automatically also been updated with the same styles. And if we go to our other page and we reload this, so I haven't edited anything on this page, I simply reload it, we'll see that now this button has also been updated to match my new style. This is the global style feature. And we have just now rolled this out in Thrive Architect for the button element. So right now, you'll find this on buttons, you'll find a new option where you can save a button style as a global style. So just like global colors, you can save a global color, apply it to multiple elements all over the website and edit all of those colors at the same time by changing the global color. This is the same function applied to the styles of your button. Let me open this page with Thrive Architect and show you a couple more things about this. First, how do we get here? Let's add a brand new button to this page and you'll see that it has its typical default style. You've always been able to save buttons as templates, but a template, you can reuse it again and again, but they're not linked together in any way. You, you can also save something as a symbol, but when it, with a symbol, everything is linked. So the text, the size, the alignment, just everything about the button will be aligned. And global styles give you much more subtle control over how to use the same style over multiple buttons. And here's how we do it. So let's take this button. We have to make some changes to it. Otherwise it makes no sense to save it, right? So let's change the color. Let's change something about, let's make it larger. And, you know, maybe add a gradient to make this a new button. Not the greatest design of all times, but you get the idea. I've made changes to this button, right? And this I can now save. I can go here to save it as a template or a symbol. That's always been possible. But here in the style options, I can save this as a global style. So I save this as a style, demo style two, apply that. And now it has become a global style. Now what happens when you add a new button to the page, you can now choose a global style from right here. And you see the new style I added. And this these are now linked together. So that's how you get here. So you can apply your global styles to buttons wherever you want. You can save styles as global styles and apply them to the buttons. And then here you have your typical options. So you can unlink a button if you wanna make changes that don't apply to other buttons that have this style, or you can edit the style if you want to apply the same changes to multiple instances of your button like this. 
So this is how you get there, right? You can now save buttons with global styles. But there's a very important distinction, as I mentioned before, between templates, symbols, and global styles. And for buttons especially, global styles are usually the best option. And that's because there are certain things that are going to be different on different instances of a button. So for example, here I have a bunch of examples. We have a button here, or if you look at the main options, well, first of all, you can see we have a button that's left aligned, one that's center aligned, one that's right aligned, and one that's full width. Each button has different text, which makes sense, right? One button might say subscribe, another says add to cart, another says get the deal now, whatever. We also have different links, right? This button links to thrivethemes.com. This one links to Wikipedia and so on. So we can have different links on each button. We can also have different spacing. So if we look at layout and position, you can see that here we have 39 top, 20 bottom, and here we have 73 top and 47 button, so bottom. So this has more space around it. These are all factors that make the button fit its context, right? It has its own text, its own link, its own alignment, and so on. But all the other factors, and these are, by the way, the panels that are available. The panels that are available whenever you click on a global button are options that you can change on an individual instance of a button without affecting the others. And the panels that are grayed out are the ones that are governed by the global style. So if I choose to edit the global style, it kind of reverses, mostly reverses, right? Where now I can change things like, let's say I want the font size to be different. That will apply to all of them, right? Or I want to have a different background style. So maybe I want to have a fill color instead of a gradient. That will apply to all of them. So this is how the distinction works. And this is why we have some options available on individual instances of a button and some options not available. As you can see, with this feature, you now have the possibility to basically do updates and changes to multiple instances of a button without having to repeat the same work over and over again. And we applied this to buttons first because that is the most common, most typical example. We want to have a specific button style, You're probably going to have more than one button, probably on more than one page. And if you decide to update that style, it's really much more convenient if you don't have to go and make those changes over and over again. And that is what the global styles are for. Now with the release of global colors and now global styles for buttons, you may have already developed an inkling of where we're going with this. And let me just confirm that yes, the idea is that going forward, this will become a thing that we bake into our templates. So right now with global colors and global buttons, and in the future other elements with global styles, they are something that you can use that you can start building from zero, right? You can save your button styles and then reuse them and do all that. But it's not built into any of our templates. But our plans are that in 2019, we will modernize several of our templates and we will start releasing premium templates that have their own sets of synchronized linked global colors and synchronized linked global button styles and other element styles so that you will be able to create pages and even deploy entire funnels of pages and customize them all the way through in much fewer steps than ever before. If you're excited about this kind of direction we're taking, then you can really help us make these features better by trying this out, testing it out on the buttons and giving us feedback about what you find, what works for you and what ideas you have on how we can expand this feature set. So let us know what you think by leaving a comment below.